Hello everyone, Jeff Dayton here at Forest Creek Golf Club in lovely Round Rock, Texas. Uh, coming off a nice Memorial Day weekend. Um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the uh, pace of play today. So, uh, you know, one of the main detractors in golf and one of the things we see more and more is the fact that it takes too long to play a round of golf. And, um, you know, our time is as much a value to us as our money is. And uh, it's really important that we Try to play golf a little faster and you know, enjoy the game, but I think we need to, you know, we, we watch some of the professionals play on TV and they're playing for millions of dollars. So they, they tend to take a little longer on, on many of their shots and their pre-shot routines. But as a general recreational golfer, we need to be aware of our pace of play and, and keep our pace moving. So I think um, what most of us need to really look to do in a non-tournament situation is try to play ready golf, you know, get out there, um, Make an agreement with the with your group on the first tee that you're going to play ready golf, and that you know honor if the person who has the honors is ready to hit off the tee, um, then certainly they they have that honor. But you know if they're not ready to hit and somebody else is standing on the tee box, that person should go ahead and hit. You know when you're in the in the fairway, um, you try to play if, if even though you're not away, if the person who is away is not ready to hit. If you can safely play your shot without nobody else in your line of sight or line of play, play your shot. Play ready golf. Um, if somebody has a ball that's lost, they're looking for their ball. You know, Before you go run off into the woods to help them look for their ball, if you can safely play your shot, play your shot. And then go help them look for their ball. Um, the, the use of carts. You know, Don't sit in the golf cart and watch your partner hit his shot. You know, drop your partner off with a club or two and then ride over to your ball. And after he hits, then you can hit and you can ride back over and pick him up. But I see too often a person sitting in a cart, one guy hits a shot, then he gets in the cart, then they drive over to his ball, then another person gets out and hits a shot. You know, use the cart wisely. Jockey it around and, uh, and that'll, that'll take minutes off of your round of golf. You know, when you're on the putt, on the putting green, now, if, if you can, without really stepping in somebody's line, and oftentimes on firm greens, you can step in somebody's line and really not bother it, uh, putt out. You know, don't mark it from a foot and a half away. You know, putt the ball out if you can do so without, you know, using poor etiquette. Um, sometimes, you know, we, we get so wrapped up in, you know, trying to play like the pros and follow every little rule of honors and who's away. All of a sudden, a four-hour round of golf turns into a four-and-a-half-hour round of golf. A four-and-a-half-hour round of golf turns into a five-hour round. And let's face it, when you're playing, you know, you don't want to be on the course more than five hours. It just takes away from the experience. Getting up to the tee and having to wait every shot, and then it just takes away from the, your rhythm. Um, sometimes you get on the tee, and the person with the honors might have to wait because they can hit it too far. And they they don't want to hit into the group in front of them, which they shouldn't. But maybe there's some other players in the group that are shorter hitters, and they could easily hit. Let them hit and keep the pace moving. Sometimes if if we're playing couples golf, you know, I know it's 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 often really nice to ride with your partner, and you know you have one couple on one card, another couple on another card. Well, the the men tee off in the men's tees, then they take both cards up to the red tees, and they stop, and then the, and then the, the red tee players tee off. Oftentimes, it's nice to split up. Put the two men in the cart. Put the two ladies in the cart. Well, as soon as the men tee off, the ladies can take off in their cart and get to the red tees. And that often speeds up the pace of play. So, um, marking your scores. You know, don't sit there by the green and write down your scores. Get to the next tee. You write your scores down there. If you're the first one up on the next tee, don't write your scores down. Get up on the tee box. Hit your shot. And then you can go back to the cart and write down your scores. So, there's lots of lots of ways to uh, improve pace of play. Um, it really adds to the game of golf. When you can play a round of golf in four hours or less, it adds to the experience of everybody. And if, if you become known as a slow player, uh, you get that reputation and some a lot of players won't want to play with you. And it, it's just like being on the highway. One slow driver in a left lane can clog up a whole highway. One slow force on the golf course can clog up the whole golf course. And, uh, you know, there's lots of courses that have pace of play policies. 
we're one of them, and we will encourage people to play, you know, not to rush their round of golf, but to play ready golf and play a round of golf in a reasonable amount of time for the enjoyment of all. So take these tips for ready golf, practice them in your casual rounds of golf, and you'll find you'll enjoy your round better, and everybody behind you will enjoy their rounds as much too. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.